What's up, YouTube? Welcome to MixerUniversity.com. My name is Masquerade, and I'll be your host for the evening. Today, we're going to be talking about how to maximize your PC for music production. And it's really, really simple. Maybe you're going to school or whatever, and you just want to learn a little bit more about how to um, produce music and how to put good records together at home, even though you don't have a lot of money to spend on it. So it's really easy to optimize your computer. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can use what you have at home. Um, I've got here a, a laptop. Uh, this is a Toshiba. I bought this computer for about $400, and it's basically the bottom of the line. But it was real easy for me to get this thing going. Um, the right way. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to optimize your computer is make sure that it's clean. Clean it and keep it clean. And that goes for not just the inside but the outside. So first we're going to start with the outside. And what I usually do to keep my laptop clean or my desktop clean is I get these little wipes here that you can get, you know what I mean, Clorox wipes or whatever. Um, and make sure that it's not too moist and just take it, if you have a main screen, you just take it and you wipe it, you know what I mean, just keep it clean, um, and it's real easy, so that one's there, then you take this one, bam, you know, so that's there, you can also go to your desktop, clean your desktop, um, you want to keep everything, all your equipment anyway, you want to keep everything nice and clean and, and dust free, you know what I mean, you just want to, um, that's how you keep your hardware, you know, working well, so the same thing, with um, laptops, if you got one of those spray cans, you can spray in the little. I do that maybe like every two to three months. I'll clean all the little keys, but then I also make sure that my top is clean, so I wipe it down just like so, and then I wipe the screen down with my. And then I'll just go in there and just clean it, and then I'll just dry it off and make sure that it looks good. That it looks good, you know what I mean? Free from you know fingerprints and everything so keep your laptop clean keep it keep dust out of it and that's going to save your hardware a lot and it's going to keep it performing at its maximum ability so that's that right there second thing you want to do is you want to um, declutter your, your desktop it's really important like a lot of the programs are on here if you have a lot of programs or stuff on your desktop you just want to take them and put them in like your documents folder so I have three um, folders right here that I don't really need here. I haven't decluttered yet, but all I got to do is just go to my documents folder and um, click them all and just put them in my documents folder. And then I can also organize it later on. So if you got a lot of stuff on your desktop, you don't really need it there. It's not really optimized for music production. As you see now, I only have a few items on here. So declutter your desktop. The next thing you want to do is you want to um, set up your laptop. It doesn't matter laptop or um, or desktop, you want to set it up for high performance. So you go down here in the corner and you see like the little bat battery button or it's the same thing on the desktop. Um, when you're on the desktop there's a little thing in the corner and you can go here and you can click balance or you can click high performance. And you can go to more power options. If you go to the power options that's also available on desktops and you just make sure you click high performance and that sets it up to give it all the power that it needs you know, for you to basically perform the task in your program at, a, at an optimum level, okay? And um, just remember, if you do have a laptop, a laptop and you're not working on music or whatever, and you don't have, the, have it plugged in, it'll use your battery juice up really, really quickly, so you want to make sure you change it back to, to, to normal. All right, the fourth thing you want to do <clears throat> after you set it to high performance, you want to get rid of any malware. Uh, malware is when you got, like, pop too many pop-ups coming on your computer and everything and that happens a lot when you're surfing the internet and you click on something and you don't you don't realize that you're downloading a program or something onto your computer and that computer and then that program stays there so if you've had your computer for like three or four years and you surf the internet a lot chances are there are tons I mean tons of of little programs that are running in the background and they're slowing your computer down um, what I would recommend is a free software called Malware Bytes. Um, you can Google it. You just go to, um, you know, if you just Google Malware Bytes, M A L W A R E B Y T E S. If you just Google it, they have a website um, called malwarebytes.org. You download it, 
and you just run it. You don't do the complicated one. You just run a simple scan, and um, it'll scan your computer for a bunch of just crazy, just programs that you didn't even know existed that'll be on your computer, and then you select them all, you delete them, and then it'll tell you to restart the computer. You restart it, and then you run the scan again. I think it's the quick scan, so you run it again, and then next thing you know, all the malware is off your computer, and your computer is going to run a lot faster. Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to run anti uh, antivirus. You need to have antivirus, and this is the way you do double protection protection on your computer. Okay, you got it set up for high performance already. You do um, malware like malware bytes, and then you have spyware or a virusware like like Microsoft Security Essentials. Microsoft Security Essentials is free as well. So you just Google, um, just Google it. And just put in there Microsoft and you see it comes up right up Microsoft Security Essentials and you can go to the website Microsoft Windows and you can download it onto your computer for free it's virus protection so now you got malware protection you got virus protection so anytime your computer starts to slow up or you notice a program was on there that you don't need you just run a scan run a quick scan on your malware bytes and that will get rid of any malware and then you run a quick scan on your virus protection Microsoft Security Essentials, and then bam, you know what I mean? And if you run that every two to three months, your computer is going to be running super fast. Now, the last thing that you need to do, and this might take a little bit of time, it's not something that happens really quickly, is you need to check your um, computer for um, programs that you don't need. A lot of times when you buy a computer like this, say you buy from Dell or Gateway or HP or mine is Toshiba, a lot of those companies put a bunch of unneeded software on your computer to start with and so when you run your computer when you first started there's just there's so many programs on there they take up a lot of space and some of them run in the background and you don't need them you know so what I would do what I would recommend is you go down to the left to the corner and go into your control panel and then you um, hit the programs you hit programs <clears throat> and you go go to un uninstall or change program and you can do them by name or you can do them by publisher. I would recommend clicking the publisher tab and you just run through here and you find like say my computer is a Toshiba and if Toshiba has too many pr programs that I don't need like I know I'm not going to use them so I'll just go in here and I'll just take them out. These happen to be uh, these happen to be programs that I use so I'm not going to take them out but Let's say you can go in here and say you look up a publisher and you have a gateway computer. And gateway, say gateway has 15 programs in there and you know you're not going to use any of them. Just take them out. Like you can just eliminate all of them. Also, the same goes for if you don't recognize a program um, in here and you don't need it and you don't use it. If you don't recognize it, if you don't use it, just take it out because you never know. It could be running in the background and it could be causing you a lot of grief. So... If you don't use the software, if you don't use a program, just go to your uninstall, go to your control panel, find programs, go to program features, and uninstall a program, uninstall and change the program, and then you can clean up all those programs that you don't need. Especially if you have a new computer, just go in and take out all those programs that you don't need. And then you install the programs that you want to use, like a Cakewalk, Sonar, or Cubase, or or Ableton Live, whatever you want to use. And then your program is going to be ready to go. Now, then you run a quick and final check. If you do control alternate delete, you can go into the start the task manager and you can look at all the different um, programs that are running, processes, services, and you can look at all the different processes that are running. And also, if you, go, you can go in there and you can check to see if, if there's any programs that you don't recognize. Um, one thing to keep in mind that if, if a publisher is Windows or Microsoft, Try not to install any of, uninstall any of those programs because more than likely those are system programs that keep your computer running. Just focus on programs that you don't need uh, or that are made by the manufacturer of the computer because most of the time you don't need those. But um, software or programs from Intel, Windows, Microsoft, leave those installed. But outside of that, once you've completed those six steps, you should be ready to install your um, music software and it should be running like a dream. So. 
All right, so that's how you optimize your PC for music production. If you guys have any questions, just um, put them in the comments, and I'll see if I can answer some of them. But if not, we'll see you soon. Take care. Yeah,